Hi, this is Matt. Today I'll be reviewing Drawdown, the most comprehensive plan ever proposed to reverse global warming, edited by Paul Hawken. This book basically is a high-level summary of the work done by an international team of scientists, uh, economists, policy experts, and a bunch of other expert researchers to research and model and summarize the 100 most impactful solutions to climate change. The purpose of the book is to really give us a roadmap or an action plan of the things that need to be implemented to get us to a point of what the authors call drawdown, which they define as uh, that point in time at which atmospheric greenhouse gas emissions peak and then begin to decline on a year-to-year -year basis. So the way the book works is it basically lists the 100 solutions that the research team came up with. And just to be clear, the solutions in the book are, um, they are things that directly impact uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So that's either by reducing the amount of greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere. So for example, something like solar power or wind power, which reduce the amount of fossil fuels being burnt and the amount of carbon dioxide being emitted. Or something like uh, reforestation, which acts to sequester greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere. So the solutions in the book uh, are focused on actions at a societal level. So it's not a book that tells you the you know, 101 things that you can personally do um, to uh, affect climate change. So it's not telling you to go and change your light bulbs or eat more vegetables, although those things are obviously valuable things to do. Um, but it's focused on societal level solutions. Uh, that said, it is um, easy to see how many of the solutions in the book can in fact map to uh, individual actions that you can take. And yeah, so the solutions are ranked on in terms of their ability to um, reduce greenhouse gas emissions or sequester greenhouse gases according to the models developed by the researchers. And uh, each solution is given a one to two page explanation, um, just explaining how it works along with some basic data that came out of the modeling that the researchers did. So that includes um, the extent to which that solution needs to be implemented for us to reach a point of drawdown, um, the projected reduction in CO2 or CO2 equivalent emissions out to 2050, uh, as well as the projected cost to implement that solution and the expected net savings that would result uh, from that solution being implemented. Because many of the solutions in the book are, uh, although they involve a net upfront an upfront cost, over time they result in a net saving to society. Um, so obviously the solutions in the book, well, like I said, the book represents a high level summary of an enormous amount of research. And this book, you know, they, they couldn't include um, all of the detailed technical information. So what the authors have done is they've created a companion website which you can visit at drawdown.org and uh, on this website if there's a particular solution in the book that you'd like to find out more about you can uh, go to the relevant page on that website so for instance say you want to learn more about um, reducing food waste. You can go to that particular page and then download all of the technical summaries created by the researchers and um, read to your heart's content. So it's all backed up by the website. And to summarize, the book is definitely, I would definitely recommend it if you're interested in learning more about climate change, particu uh, particularly the solutions to climate change. Um, and there are some really surprising insights in there. So I think if you pick it up and have a read, you'll discover some things that you'd never heard of before and you'll find out about a bunch of solutions that you never would have guessed would have such uh, a substantial impact.
The other thing that I'd like to say about the book is that when it comes to the discussion around climate change, it can be kind of easy to lose hope a little bit. And, uh, you know, this, the, the focus is often on the negative side of things and what we're not doing. And so it can be easy to lose hope that we can ever come together as a society uh, to fix this uh, massive global issue. But what the book does, or what it did for me at least, was it really gave me a sense of hope because it provides a concrete set of actions that we can undertake to fix climate change. Obviously uh, a massive amount of action needs to be taken, but what the book showed me was that yes, we do in fact have a plan and we can in fact achieve this. So for that reason alone, uh, that ability of the book to instill a sense of hope, um, I would really recommend it. I think it's a really valuable read. So that's Drawdown, edited by Paul Hawken, and thank you for tuning in.